This week we saw a bunch of new games and their trailers announced for the Oculus Quest. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to put together a video showcasing these games as well as some other games that I'm excited for that are coming in 2021. So let's take a look. The first game on my list is Demio. Now I've mentioned this game before but what you're seeing here is a brand new trailer that shows us more of the gameplay. This is a cooperative RPG dungeon crawler that's done in the form of a tabletop game. And just like a real tabletop RPG, you move your characters around the board, you roll dice and use cards to play the game. But the reason why I'm so pumped for this one is that there is really nothing like this on the Oculus Quest as of yet. In fact, I can only think of the game Tavern Towers as something that's quite similar. Although Tavern Towers is for Dungeons and Dragons and it uses your imagination much more. Whereas this one has animated player pieces that actually fight each other when you roll the dice and do different special moves. And what I like even more about this one is that there is going to be a standard version, a non-VR version, that is also going to be cross-play with the Quest VR version. So that means there's going to be plenty of people to play with. So this one is coming in 2021, although we don't know exactly when. Next on the list is Song in the Smoke. This is a survival game where you're tasked with crafting, hunting, cooking and fighting off threats. It reminds me of the game Green Hill, which is also a game that's going to be ported to the Oculus Quest in 2021. Except in this game, you're fighting off mystical and otherworldly beasts. So it has this mystical element to it. What I love about this game is that it has this open world feel to it. Your main priority is to survive, but how you do that really depends on you. Do you spend your time crafting stronger weapons? Or do you try to hunt down whatever's hunting you before they can get you first? Or maybe you try to explore a new spot, maybe a new camping site before it gets dark. All these decisions are down to you and what you choose could mean the difference between life or death. This one comes out in spring 2021. Now MMORPGs have been a category of game that I think have been neglected on the Oculus Quest. So I'm very happy to see that Denif the Last City is an MMORPG that's coming to the Oculus Quest this year. Zenith promises quite a few features. For example, you have different classes and each of those are customizable. There's a main story, but you do get to choose your path. There's a procedural quest system that tailors quests to your level and abilities. Now it seems like you can upgrade your abilities to focus more on magic or sword fighting or healing, depending on what path you want to take. The combat seems quite physical and action orientated, but also appears to contain familiar RPG elements. And it promises an expansive world where you can travel across multiple biomes by gliding or climbing to your destination. As you progress, you'll build your reputation and you can choose to align yourself with certain factions. You can also pick up items to craft with and build your crafting skills, as well as play mini games where you do things like preparing meals, washing herbs, and performing certain activities to create these new items that then give you boosts in certain abilities. And beyond that, you can craft things like armor and weapons. There are also these loot chests you can find when you kill rare enemies, or you can discover them in hidden crevices and dungeons scattered around the world. I could go on, but I think you get the point. This game looks like it's going to be quite epic in both scale and the number of features that it has. And while we don't have an exact release date, we do know it's going to be released sometime this year in 2021. But if you're itching to get your hands on this one, there is a closed alpha, which is going to commence in April. So if you want to be part of that closed alpha, make sure you check out the Discord channel for more information. Now our next game, Flow Weaver, is a multi-dimensional escape room game coming to the Oculus Quest March the 11th. I've actually played this one already, the developers were kind enough to give me an early access copy and I'll leave a link to that gameplay in the description below if you want to check it out. But in this game you play a powerful mage traveller. You get captured by this necromancer, now what the necromancer wants with you it's unclear at first and that's part of the mystery that you have to unravel. And you have to escape your prison by solving a series of magical mystical puzzles and to solve these puzzles you have to travel between dimensions you meet creatures from other worlds and acquire powerful spells what's nice about this game is that your character doesn't move they just transport from one dimension to the other and stay in one location which means that it's a very comfortable vr experience that doesn't require a lot of space in order to play 
Another good feature is the way that different dimensions affect each other, so doing something in one dimension might affect things in another dimension, which makes for some interesting ways in which to solve the puzzles. This next game is called Cosmo Dread, it's from the same developer who bought us Dread Halls, and just like Dread Halls, this is a VR survival horror game with roguelike elements. It takes place in a dying spaceship and reminds me a lot of other survival horror games set in space like Alien Isolation or Dead Space. Your goal is to search for resources and find a way home back to Earth. What I love about this game is that each run is a new procedurally generated layout with random positions for rooms, corridors, items, hazards and so on which should give it stacks of replayability. It promises a highly interactive environment where you can open doors, drawers and lockers to find different resources to craft into weapons and equipment to deal with the enemies and hazards that you're going to find along the way as you try to make your way back home. When you do come across enemies you can fight them or set a trap for them to walk into but because ammo is scarce then more often than not you'll probably find yourself hiding and using objects to throw and distract the creatures away from you rather than trying to engage them directly. This game is planned for release on the Oculus Quest on the 25th of March. Now in the same horror genre of Cosmo Dread is Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife. So in this game you play someone called Ed Miller, he's a photographer who dies during a mysterious seance and becomes a wraith. So in this game you don't play as the human, you're actually playing as the ghost, which is a twist on this genre and it's just a really interesting concept. So as a wraith you're suspended between life and death and you're trapped in the Barclay Mansion. This is a mansion that you have to explore and using your supernatural wraith abilities have to uncover the horrifying truth of your own demise. Now you'd think that being a wraith there wouldn't be many things that could scare you or would go after you but unfortunately there are bigger and badder things than you in this mansion and they will come after you. This game releases on the 22nd of April and so the footage you're seeing here is taken from 10 minutes of gameplay that was done by a bunch of fantastic VR YouTubers that I think I'm subscribed to each one of their channels and I'll leave a link to that full gameplay video in the description below if you want to check that out. Now these next two games that I'm going to show are action first person shooter games. We've seen a lot of these types of games on the Oculus Quest but the reason why I'm so excited about these two in particular is that they both seem to have a strong single player campaign focus. This first game you're seeing is called Zero Calibre. Now the footage you're seeing is actually from the PC VR version. There is a Zero Calibre PC version which is the one you're seeing here which actually gets rated very positively on Steam. Now Zero Calibre Reloaded for the Oculus Quest isn't going to just be a straight port of the PC VR version but it is going to retain many of the same features. It also has a 4 player co-op mode and there might potentially be a player versus player mode in the future although the developers say that's not set in stone which is fine with me because it means that they're just focusing all their attention on the story campaign mode which in my opinion is a fantastic thing because by focusing all of their energies on the campaign mode hopefully that will mean when it does come out it will be a lengthy and awesome campaign. Now the other first person shooter game that I'm really excited about is Sniper Elite. Now just like Zero Calibre Reloaded this plans to feature a really strong campaign mode which will have 18 replayable missions. It will feature authentic World War II weapons as well as this really cool x-ray kill cam that will let you see the brutal effects of your sniper shots. Now although the name of this game is Sniper Elite and you do handle sniper rifles you also get to handle other weapons like pistols, shotguns, machine guns, explosives and more. So as for release dates, Zero Calibre Reloaded, we're expected to see that in the second quarter of 2021 and Sniper Elite VR, we don't know the exact release date yet, but it is planned for release this year. Now this next game I featured in one of my recent videos, this is Star Wars Pinball VR, it comes out April 29th on the Oculus Quest and I'm excited about this one for two main reasons, firstly it comes with 8 tables, 2 tables are based on the Mandalorian and it'll only set you back $24.99 US dollars which I think is pretty good value considering the number of tables that you get with this game but the other reason why I'm excited for this game is that it seems to be a bit more than just a pinball game you get these story based missions, these mini games, you get to earn rewards, unlock content as you play and build your own personalised little memorabilia room 
So it sounds like there's a lot more to it than just pinball, and I reckon it'd be a great arcade game to duck in to play for a few minutes here or there, or to challenge your friends to get the highest score. This next game is coming to App Lab, and it's David Slade Case Mysteries. I've covered it before, and I'm going to cover it again because it's an awesome detective mystery game and since I last covered it a new update has come up which has improved visuals and improved gameplay features that just give this game a whole new look and feel. Now we don't know exactly when this one is coming to App Lab, I think that Oculus have a backlog of App Lab game applications that they're working their way through, but it is out now on SideQuest for $9.99 US dollars so you can still get your hands on it if you don't want to wait for it to come out on App Lab. What I love about this game, it's dark, it's gritty and it can be gruesome, but there are some funny moments too which provide some comedy relief. This game looks great and it sounds great and we're also treated to cinematic clips that tell us some of the story as we progress. But for me the biggest selling point of this game is that it makes you feel like an actual detective. You do feel like you're putting together the pieces of a mystery as you solve puzzles and find clues with your detective kit which includes things like swabs, bags and brushes that you use to collect evidence. The game currently contains one episode, but there are at least two more episodes planned, with episode 2 having more psychological thriller and horror elements to it. So make sure to join the developers discord to keep up to date with all the latest content coming for this game. So that's it for today's video, if you have liked it remember hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment and if you think I've deserved it hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be kept up to date with all the latest content coming out of this channel. Thanks for watching as always and I'll catch you in the next one.